Today, in our cover story, how hospitals work to keep distance from being something that prevents quality medical care. With stroke or other neurological disorders, having immediate feedback can greatly improve care. Rod Starnes shows us how teleneurology brings patients together with experts who may be miles away. When a clot or other problem stops blood flow, it can disable or kill. With the heart, physicians say time is muscle. That is, the longer it takes to treat a heart attack, the more likely heart muscle is to suffer permanent damage. Well, time is also brain. So if you have a clot in your brain, which is a stroke, we need to get you taken care of as quickly as possible. Part of speedy treatment for stroke or other neurological problems can depend on a patient getting the right type of assessment. I see the patient quickly ascertain through a quick neurological exam, yes, this patient is having a stroke. The biggest thing we need is that CAT scan to be done immediately. But it's also necessary for emergency personnel to have a brain specialist, a neurologist, examine the patient and their brain scans as soon as possible to help determine the proper treatment. That could mean medications that can dissolve blood clots have to be delivered quickly and in precise amounts. If a neurologist is not at the hospital, precious time can be lost while waiting for one to travel to the facility. But now, with teleneurology, with specialists on call, we can actually dial up a neurologist and have him on the screen in front of the patient in less than 15 minutes. Can you tell me about your past medical history? Do you have any medical problems? Teleneurology allows hospitals like Baptist to use video links to immediately connect with neurologists who are standing by to help assess patients even though they're not in the same hospital or in the same state. We spoke to a specialist on call neurologist based in San Francisco, connected to the Baptist Memphis emergency room via computer video link. The two-way connection allows doctors to see and hear what's going on in the ER while also having immediate access to other medical information. So the CT, it gets uploaded to us very quickly, so often before I've even dialed in the video, I've already looked at the CT and I can already say, hey, it looks normal, or there, there's a laptop next to me, so I unconsciously just looked at it, um, or there's blood on the CT or something like that. Because of the video link, neurologists can see and hear the patient, ask questions, and get information from medical personnel in the emergency room. Other little things is that I can pan and zoom the camera, um, so I can focus actually quite closely on a person's eyes if I need to do that and look for subtle abnormalities. Dr. Kalanithi cites an American Heart Association study that compares the National Institutes of Health stroke scale exam done by a doctor at the bedside to what he and other specialists can do from a distance. The ability of both to provide quality treatment is about the same. Another benefit of teleneurology is found at facilities that have little or no access to specialists. Smaller community hospitals might not have doctors who specialize in neurology, which could limit treatment for stroke patients. But teleneurology can allow physicians in another location to help direct treatment with clot-dissolving drugs. And teleneurology providers make sure their doctors have the same medical credentials as the doctors they're working with. So every physician that appears virtually in any state has to be licensed in that state. So if I do a consult in Tennessee, which I have done, I am licensed in Tennessee. Not only that, is we have to go to the credentialing process at every single hospital that we appear in. Baptist will be implementing the teleneurology program in five of its hospitals in the next couple of months. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starn.